Hey folks, we're here at Tooth & Nail Winery. Tooth & Nail actually has four labels underneath it. Tooth & Nail, um, Rabble, Stasis, and Amor Fine. I looked at it before and I couldn't really tell what they specialized in particularly. Um, what we do like here though is the Tooth & Nail Possessor. That's a blend. Um, we really, really liked it. it it's full bodied and it's smooth. So coming here, some videos of the winery. Um, also kind of interesting, it, it's made to look like a castle, but not like the castle one that was in Napa before. This one here has a lot of interesting art. Um, it's a little dark, as you can see here in the following videos. It's for some people, you know, and they're probably not for other people's, but as far as the wines go, again, you know, another good Paso Robles winery. So, tooth the nail. Enjoy the video. So, folks, here's the grounds of the tooth and nail winery. As you can see, another winery with very spacious areas. Um, really nice decoration and pretty comfortable to sit in and around. Um, it sits in their uh, estate vineyards area, which is pretty large, as you saw from the... Uh, intro video that we had um, on top of uh, just the tasting room they do also serve some food it's not quite an extensive restaurant at least for the tasting um, but uh, they do have really good food and right here you can see that we had some of those delicious herb garlic parmesan fries and here's a look at their current menu items as you can see, some of the stuff looks really tasty. Now over here, they rent some of these areas out also for events like weddings. As I mentioned earlier, inside we have some of this art that's a little bit on the dark side. It's, it's very interesting, kind of reminds me of um, you know, some of the old, uh, even the later Twilight Zone uh, movies. You know, the this, I guess, is from various artists because the styles look a little different to me anyway. So, um, it's definitely a theme inside. Uh, it's in several of the rooms. And I'm wondering if it's just a kind of relation to the whole castle theme you know, um, more along the, uh, instead of the uh, uh, more elegant uh, royal side of castles, the more uh, darker side, like the dungeons. Um, anyway, uh, that's that's kind of it for um, the, the art. Uh, you know, take a look. Let us know in the comments below what you think, you know, what your interpretation is of, of why it was like this. Um, I don't think I saw anything in the while we were visiting there but as to what the uh, art was all about or whether it was just a, a specific theme that they had. But um, like I said, as you can see here, a little bit on the unusual side. Let us know what you think, guys. So taking a look at their website here, scrolling down, I mentioned earlier that there were four labels, Tooth and Nail, Stasis, and Amor Fadi. And the fourth one was Rabble, but it doesn't look like they have it now. That's kind of interesting. Luckily enough, on one of the visits, I got some of these Rabble wine labels. That proves that there were Rabble wines before. Well, folks, that just about wraps up Tooth & Nail Winery. Again, another gem of a winery over here in Paso Robles. Um, I like the castle theme, um, even a little bit of that dark art, you know. But the wines are certainly great. Uh, the food is good. Again, if you're just doing tasting, it's perfect. It's a very small menu. I'll go ahead and provide a link to their website below. Check them out and see what they got to offer. 
Again, folks, it's Marcel and Mila. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and that notification bell so that we can provide you with more videos just like this. We'll see you guys next time.